this movie is uh, fucking crazy because Seth, uh, <laughs> he's in the 1920s and he's working in a pickle factory. And it's really funny because his whole job in the pickle factory is to kill mice. The mice chase him into the pickle vat. And he, <laughs> I love that the mice win and they, they actually they get kill me. you. They were a little more rugged back then. And he kind of gets pickled and then he wakes up 100 years later. And it's really fun. It is a funny premise because it's like, well, what if you met your great, great, great grandfather? He'd probably think you were an asshole because you couldn't do anything with your hands. Like in the movie, the only thing that's impressive to Herschel is that his great grandson has access to sparkling water. Like that to him is like the <laughs> pinnacle of it's success. So and what he doesn't get is, I mean, and today, and, you know, sparkling water is not that hard to come by. And the things that actually are hard to come by today are completely unimpressive. Now, I was impressed with your acting. I, I'm going to tell you Thank something. You. you played two roles. It's a movie about his great, great, great grandfather and the grandson. And he plays both guys. But your accent as a Polish immigrant. It's pretty fucking good. I mean, it was something I was honestly very worried about and something that oh, playing two both the roles overall was something that it literally took me years to decide whether or not it was a good idea because like cinematically, there's like a pretty dodgy history of actors playing both roles. And comedically, there's like a dodgy history of actors doing like accents, basically. The idea that made me think it was a good idea was this idea that is a theme in the movie that just like you are your ancestors whether you like it or not and i think everyone has that picture of their grandfather their great grandfather grandmother great grandmother when they are their same age as they are now and they can't help but think what would it be like if we knew each other at the same age you know i would right. picture my grandfather when he was in the navy in his mid-20s and every time i look at it i think if he knew me while well, we were both in our mid-20s he would have beaten the living shit out of me yeah, <laughs> like, he'd smack I, you right I, in the I, head I, I would have been the most annoying motherfucker <laughs> to him on be earth like, and what's with all this <laughs> weed and making ashtrays yeah, what's the matter you fucking I'm, asshole I'm, yeah. yeah go yeah, fight I'm, the nazis you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>